Miari Ustakasakula. Hola y buenas tardes. Hello and good evening. This is Edba, aka Phoenix Daino, playing some Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Why? Am I not live? No, nope. it's showing my live has ended on the phone, but I'm definitely. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to multitask here. And what do we got now? We have fuse. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse to a nearby object? Fuse, fuse, and receive the blessing from this shrine. And that on the screen is how to do it. The ability to combine, okay, so which weak ass weapon we gonna get rid of? For the Rusty Claymore, a two-handed sword not properly cared for. Although it can be used as a weapon, its durability is very low. Don't expect it to last for more than a few strikes. I don't expect it from anyone. We just tear this shit down. We gonna tear that down too. Bundle of five common arrows. The shafts of these arrows were carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. So for Anyone who may or may not be in the chat, um, this is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I have played a little bit already, so I'm on a alternate account to record cutscenes and stuff that I couldn't do before I had the option to stream. Because when you try to record on your on the switch, it just it only does like 30 seconds at a time. And some of these, most of these scenes are much longer than that. So this is so much better. Hopefully, if you're not already following me, you're willing to follow. Um, if you're not already following my alternate account, you're willing to go ahead and do that because according to TikTok, I need 3,000 followers before I will have access to the TikTok streaming service. And my other account has like 1,200 followers at the moment. Not many. Do 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 do. I used to have that exact sound as the ringtone whenever someone texts me. And then I had like the Mario coins. If I got a voicemail, I had like all kinds of nerdy shit. My ringtone was Harry Potter, but like a trap remix. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. What now, brown cow? Oh, wait, I can fuse things. I forgot, because I can take this, hold it, drop it, take the weapon. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take you, because you're higher level. And then, yes, we wanna fuse. 
Fick Stick. Oh, great. Now I just announced myself because I pressed the freaking whistle button like a dumbass. See, this motherfucker confused too. That's not even cool. That's that's not even fair or right. Oh, wait a second. Wait, let me focus and by focus. Just kill this bitch first. Oof. That hurt. Um... I want to like save that because it's got so many hearts, but all this other stuff don't give me shit. This only gives you a fourth of a heart. This gives you one heart, and I've only got two. I'm gonna get hit again. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I can hunt. How do I dodge again? There's there is this, and then like supposed to be a button. Oh, okay, it's the jump button. That's what I'm doing wrong. Oh my god, you gotta hit him a ridiculous amount of times. Ow, bitch. Oh, haha, <laughs> you missed me. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta talk my shit. I'll drop that because that looks like it's much more. Captain Construct One Horn. This wavy double edged blade like horn is formidable when it comes to slashing. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power. Okay, but what was up here? This seemed like there was some shit I could. Oh, is that a long stick? Okay, you know what? We're going to drop this for the long stick because that's the thing I forgot to read the description of in the first slide. So a long stick is a long stick fashioned from a tree branch. It's straight shape, makes it work well as a lunging weapon. And it does. Why are those things like that? Is this something I can pick up? No. This is the thing I need to set ablaze, I feel like. Does it even do anything? And I just waste this shit? <laughs> it looks like it. There was nothing for me here. Wait. There's something on the other side, too. Well, would you looky there? Do I want to fuse more things? I feel like I should fuse more things. So I have a bunch of strong weapons because that's a level eight, eight, six. I only jumped up three points, though. Hold on. Yeah, I don't want you anymore. I want that. Tis firm. You did it, guys. So I'm going to read the closed caption this time. I'm not going to forget to do it. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Look at that. That's so fucking cool.
apologies in advance. It sounds like my husband um, had his drinky drink and now he's sleepy sleep. Light of blessing, a crystal that glows with the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Oh, hi. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Well, thank you. For those who weren't watching the first live, this is Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I've already played a little bit on my main account. I'm on an alt account so that I could record the cutscenes and stuff that I couldn't record before because I didn't have the option to stream and record because I didn't have a video capture card until today. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Stored construct, Link. I came because there's something I failed to give you. I'm also reading out loud for people who are have audio processing issues or hard of hearing um, or who are visually impaired so they may not see what's on the screen very well. Um, so the steward construct is saying, please take it. Energy cell, a gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. What I've just given you is an energy cell. It's required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use it. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. Okay, so let me put a little stampy stamp on the cave system that I'm supposed to go to because I will fucking forget. Is that it? That looks like it's it. All right, so there's these. There's the cave system, which looks like I need to go through to get to the other side anyway. That's the other shrine. And Rauru said... I had to hit up three shrines to be able to open this door over here, which is where I'm supposed to go. The closed door. When you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Rauru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so that the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island shrines, which is what I'm doing. A green light spirals above each of them. Tis true. Um... Oh, there's the other one. Wait, no, that's the one I already saw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I need to go down here. Hold on. Let me change my weapon. I'm going to fuck you up with your own body part. Well, the body part of, a bre of your brethren. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, I was going to shoot you, but you flew away. Smart bird. Shouldn't have ran up on it, though. Oh, wheel. Some more baddies. Oh, you know what? I'm going to let y'all. I'm going to let y'all fight each other. Yep. I'm going to let y'all do that. And when there's like two of you left, then I'll intervene. That makes sense though, because the the uh, steward construct did say that the soldier constructs will attack anything that threatens the island. They just consider me a threat too because they don't recognize me. Ow! Why you had to do all that? You're doing too much. I don't see any mushrooms. I don't know if I already said this, but apologies in advance. My husband has uh, been drinking and he is now very much asleep and snoring behind me. And you will probably also hear my very loud 
half Puerto Rican, half Irish children because we live in a trailer. So you can hear pretty much anything throughout the entire house. Oh, a flaming stick. Are you special? What? Oh, now your shit's on fire too? Oh. What fell in the water? Yeah, I need that. You get what's in this chest. Soldier Reaper, a tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. I think I will. It's basically the thing I made. Wait, that's a shield. I don't have enough of them. Okay. Take you. And you, and you. I feel like there's probably more mushrooms on these other trees here. Well, it doesn't look like it actually. Oh, well. That was a cooking pot, right? Yes. Time to cook more food. Energizing Mushroom Skewer. Instantly refill some of your stamina wheel. This simple mushroom-packed skewer has its colorful, present, colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize there was anyone in the chat. Um, okay. I don't know if you're in, still in here, Blue Strip Bankroll, but this is not the time or place to get people to pay you. I don't know if that, wait, no, I don't think that's a cash app, actually. I don't, I don't know what your comment's about, but let me just, we're not feeling it. We're not feeling it. Hold on a second. I'm going to have to go here. Yeah. That's not the button I meant to press. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing that. If anyone's sending anyone money on my live, it should be me that gets the money. I'm just saying. Um, I already don't get paid for my labor. We're not going to do that. Scorching simmered fruit grants a low-level attack enhancement in hot places. This sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. Nice. That is wonderful. Thank you. I'm not sure what you're saying is wonderful, but I'm assuming it has to do with the game. <laughs> My husband said it's twice separate days for 30 minutes. Oh, I could have sworn it said two lies for 25 minutes. Oh, well, I'm already, I've already been on here for 20 minutes. And this is the second live. So hopefully that counts. If not, I'll just have to come back tomorrow. Oh no, what a disaster. I hate going live. That was sarcasm, by the way, for anyone who didn't pick it up. I do like going live. Not by myself though, but I'm distracted with this game. So my anxiety isn't fucking with me. Like it might, if I was just sitting by myself. I really don't know how people do lives like that. They just sit there and answer questions and stuff. I don't think I have enough like people following me and asking, ready to ask questions because I've answered a good bit of them in my video. So, oh well. Time to get this boulder out. 
Rock salt, crystallized salt from the ancient sea commonly used to season meals. Cannot be eaten in this form. Wait, what's that? Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Okay, so when I first played this game, I immediately killed this little frog guy. And now I feel bad. But you have to, to kind of, um, to get the little like blue bunny thing um, that you may or may not be able to catch because he's fast as shit. But um, yeah, that's what he turns into. He turns into that. Oh, I need to hit you three times, I think. Yeah. See? A little blue bunny? Well, he's gone now. Booble gem. A strange crystal left by defeating booble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Oh, I changed my weapon for no reason. Is this an exit? Ooh, sorry, I'm excited because I know those rubies are. So the ruby is a precious red ore mined from large ore deposits. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. That's why I got excited because I know if I sell that sucker, I'm gonna make plenty of money. And then the flint, I forgot to read. It says, strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. This fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long lasting flame if you strike it near firewood. So this paired with this, you can start a fire anywhere, just like in um, Breath of the Wild. Except in the rain. Don't try to start a fire in the rain, it's not gonna work. Oh, that's that let's use we're gonna use the weak shit for now oh my god i'm both in the same shot nice look at me go uh oh i missed some comments i'm sorry guys Regardless, though, I'm here for it. Yay! I I, so I have the option for multi-guest on here. Um, so ideally, I'll be able to stream and then be able to invite people to also, like, simultaneously be playing video games and we can all just, like, talk shit and fight whatever monsters we're fighting in our respective games and all that fun stuff. I will ask questions most likely at some point, sometime. <laughs> I think people would love your input on games. I totally would watch. I'm only good because I've been to this area before. Um, the whole Great Sky Island area is basically a tutorial. And on my main Nintendo account, I've already passed all this. Archaic Tunic. Old-fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle-free. Well, yeah, we're not... Look at me, fully dressed in shit. Looking like some kind of Greek warrior. Apologies to anyone who's Greek who's like, that is not our culture. Stop it. I mean, no disrespect. Okay. Oh, Raru's over there. Don't push the log. Go where I say to go. You're doing what I didn't tell you to do, Link. Okay, let's pick things up and throw them. Now throw it all in the same direction. We'll look later. Oh, you don't break. Okay. Nothing was in those jars. Lame. Okay. What you got for me, Raru? 
Steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs, you'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. And you guys clearly are about to build a boat. These river rafts are seriously damaged. They may be beyond repair. This could present a problem. Oh, I can fix it, probably, maybe. The rafts are broken. The Zonai devices will be useless until they're fixed. Zonai devices, yes, they're tools that we employ. Do you not know of them? They are necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. Though I cannot teach you, I'm occupied with figuring out how we can possibly make repairs. Ask the construct next to the fan for more information. Okay. So the third maker construct is the one that will be useful. The rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. And we're gonna ask about Zonai devices again. Uh, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. Really? How could you tell? There are necessities around here. What the fuck did I just say? Necessities. There are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinous purposes. Oh shit, that was like a $15 word I just said. Using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy sub will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. That's a relief. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out at inopportune moments. It looks like there's one, two, three, seven slots that I can fill for more battery power, more juice, maybe, I don't know. Pardon the long explanation, it does not change our need for a raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them. Alrighty then. Two, so I need to get across the lake? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what I'm hearing? Is that what I'm understanding about all this? I feel like I need to go up there. So water is going that way. So if I build my raft, I better put it down over all the way the fuck over here. Oh, I'm using the wrong ability. That's not going to help. And then I think I just need one of you. No, get back up. There we go. Bloop. Ugh. You know what? I do not need to be a perfectionist about this. It is still gonna go. Wait, no, this way. And that way I can drop it here. Jump! There we go. Hey, calm down. Oh, we need those too. Collect all the plants, life, all the things that can heal me. Ooh, a sword. We don't want you anymore.
No money. An arrow, that's it. And an apple. Lovely. Get this mushroom. What you got for me over here? Oh, are you going this direction? The mountain path is especially rugged. You, may, you must take your environment into account when traveling. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Let's hear them. Very well. Oh, it's a ranger construct. Interesting. So fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. The options are how do I start a fire I can cook and goodbye, which I already know how to do all these things, but let's read them just in case, J just for shits and giggles, right? Because everybody here hasn't read this. Um, I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to a bundle of wood, then strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is best to internalize the basic first. Would you like to hear about cooking? Yeah. You can cook anytime and anywhere. All you need is a pot with a lit fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Save those parts as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternative way to warm your body or recover stamina. The first step in all cases is to start a fire. That's all I can tell you. Take care. Cool, 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 cool. So anybody who's planning on playing this game and hasn't already played the first one, there y'all go as far as instructions, which you're probably going to Yeah, you stay over there. Am I even going the right way? I don't even know. I don't know. Okay, something's over here. Oh, that's a big guy. Where are all my arrows? Or is it only if you don't hit something that you can pick your arrows back up? Never thought about that before. Oh shit, my bad. Oh, thank you for the gifts, guys. Hey, Sarah. How's everybody doing? If I, if I don't respond to, to comments in the chat right away, I promise I'm not intentionally ignoring you. I am simply way too into this game. Oh no, you're an asshole. No, they saw me run away, run away. I wasn't ready. You know what, that's fine. You can come over here, you by yourself. Just pick you off one by one. Come on. And you have no weapons? Why did you run towards me? Okay, yeah, that big guy can stay over there. He's... Okay. And now this other fucker... That guy, look at what he's got. Oh, wait, I zoomed into a wall. Look at what this bitch got. He has got a sword with a barrel attached to it to kick my ass. So we're gonna, we're gonna use a stronger weapon against him. Oh, there's weapons here. Yeah, we're gonna take all of you. Are these all? Well, you were going to break anyway, so. I don't want to move the log, Link. I want you to go around it. Nope. Don't back off. Shit. I didn't press the button in time. 
Let's go. Okay, we don't want that. Hot weather attack? We ain't got no hot weather, but. Son of a bitch. How did you do that when I literally dodged? And I died. Second time I've died so far in this game. And the first time was just me randomly falling to my death. So, um, lovely. So for the people in the chat, what kind of games do y'all like? I know um, Vampira said that she and her husband like playing um, horror games in particular. Anybody else also into horror games or? See, this is why I shoot arrows at you bitches. If only I could shoot. See, this is my ancestors coming through there. <laughs> Hmm. Now where do I go? Up here? Jess. Why do I have this random? No, pick up the twig because you can still fuse it to something. <laughs> can I not fuse this to anything? Oh, I forgot to, I didn't actually drop it, did I? Probably helps if I drop it first. There we go. Now we're talking. I didn't level it up very much. Good thing I have a bunch of those things, though. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. How come you saw me first? I don't want you to see me. I want the dumbass ones that don't even have any weapons to see me. <laughs> Maybe don't point your bow and arrow into the fucking ground. <laughs> and they all see me now. Great. Hey, let me pick up this flint. How did that one break so easily, though? Yeah, you go back over there, fucker. Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, that's right. I need a stronger weapon for him before I forget and hunt myself up a second time. Oh, I'm missing missing stuff in the chat. Y'all are having happy, fun, cool combos. Mario Kart. I have to get the controller thing. I downloaded it, but then... I didn't realize you had to have a specific thing to be able to play it. I'd rather play what you're playing. Yeah, these Zelda games are fun. They're so fun. Oh, is that a child? Hold on a second, y'all. Let me pause the live real quick. One pair of pants later. And we're back. So let's see if how many times I got to fight this guy and die before I actually beat him. Because my timing is off like a motherfucker. Oop, he missed me. Let's get that. We don't need that.
Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I can shoot arrows too, bitch. Ah, shit. I'm gonna shoot an arrow in your face. Oh, that did not work. Hey, I did it. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I'm about to die though if I don't heal myself very, very soon. I'm gonna drop you and pick up the fancy. Okay. Just remembered I was reading through comments before the child knocked on the door. Love survival games like Ark Gajiga, a game named Ascendria my brother made. Oh, nice. I wish I knew how to play chess. There was, um, I don't think Windows has it anymore, but I know there was a point in time where like uh, Minesweeper and like a really cheap looking version of chess and stuff like that was available to like just automatically and it teaches you how to play chess, but there's like fancy ass moves, like a fork or whatever it's called that are, I don't know, they can kick your ass if you don't know them and you're playing with somebody who does know them. I'm more of a card player. Oh, okay. Like, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of something other than go fish, but that was the first thing that popped into my head. That and poker. Has anybody played Roba Paquete? I feel like nobody knows that game that isn't like Puerto Rican. But even some Puerto Ricans I ask are like, what are you talking about? But it was a game my my abuela's boyfriend, who for the longest time I did not know was not my grandfather. But um, yeah, he taught us how to play uh, Roba Paquete and we used to play it all the time. Phase 10. Oh, and Uno, yeah. Chess is so fun. Takes some time, however. With practice, definitely will learn. Wait. Sorry, comments look different on the streaming thing. Poker, yep. Uno brings out the family issues. That and, like, Monopoly will get everybody, like, not wanting to talk to each other. Whatever my family is playing. <laughs> Phase 10 is a lot of fun. So is Rummy 500. Oh, yeah, and Gin and stuff like that. It's been a while since I've played... Um, card games now that I think about it like spades and stuff like that taboo is fun charades pictionary I'm trying to remember what game taboo is I'm not remembering a few minutes later opal a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescent similar to the inside of a seashell it contains a <laughs> try again it contains the power of water. Okay, I need to heal myself. I'm not trying to pick up more melee weapons. I'm trying to pick up the arrows. Game, you know what? Let me heal myself before I forget and end up dying in a more stupid way than I already have. Wait, what was I supposed to be doing again? I got so sidetracked. Oh, the cave. The cave, the cave. Clearly, I'm going to need the O. Okay, this is where the other zone I said, not the zone I, the construct said I would need to go. I can't see shit. That is not what I meant to do. But wait, that'll work. I don't even got to shoot it. Look at me go, accidentally figuring shit out. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? I do, mining construct. Ah, you do not know of them. The glowing flowers there are bright blooms. 
They shine very brightly. Many use them as illumination in dark places. These bright blooms grow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. I'm posted here to provide a reminder to bring bright... <laughs> I'm getting tugged, twisted like a motherfucker trying to read today. Bright bloom seeds. By the way, did you know bright blooms require a stimulus to blossom? Striking a bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. The bright bloom you see growing there is no different. I caused it to blossom. It will generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. Okay. Or I can just use the fire fruit at the end of my arrow as light and save the bright bloom seeds. Because there's clearly a pathway here. Wait, let me do that first so I don't accidentally shoot what's on my arrow. Zonite, an unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. I'm glad I didn't go flying anywhere because I would not have been able to see it. Wait, no, we didn't want to do that. We want to do these. And then these. And then these. Ooh. All right, you know what? I might just fuck around and do the bright bloom seed thing. Where is it? Are these on a wall? That is much better. We're going to get all this for because I know that's expensive. So nice charge. It's really used as a power source for constructs. I think I've already read this out loud, so I'm going to skip it. Do I have enough space? No, I don't. No, I don't want to climb on top of this. Must get all the precious metals, the precious stones, whatever they are. <coughs> mm. Sorry. There's like some kind of co cold. Man, I can't talk. I should just switch to Spanish. My English is not Englishing today. Okay, but okay. Go here? I feel like you're going to tell me what to do. Forge construct. Hmm. Apologies for not noticing you. I was focused on processing zonite. Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is the zonite I mentioned. It's a unique mineral that can be mined for... from. Blah. It can be mined far beneath the land below. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had to read shit out loud, guys. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourishes by processing this substance into other materials. Ooh, zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It's therefore converted into material with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Okay. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Zonite charges are what power zonite devices and constructs. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy. And then crystallized charges are a solidified form of zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw materials in the construction of energy cells. Okay. Duly noted. Why am I climbing up this wall when I'm trying to get over here?
Oh. Okay, wait. I don't want to hurt you, guy. Looks like I'm going to need a new rock. Will you talk to me? Oh, he went to sleep. He's like, you took my job from me. This cave previously had ample resources. It's gradually yielding less and less. That is why I require support. Oops. I must therefore continue to mine without resting. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I fucked that up. Next. This is a mine cart station. Excavated resources can be transported from here. Could it be that you've forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? You've forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It's unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. The ones I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Ugh, it's freaking cold. It's not COVID, guys, I promise. We've, we've, we've been checked. But, uh, yeah. Wait. Do I need... There was, a, there was something blocking me last time. Am I dumb? Because I feel like... I cannot go this way. You know what? There might be a cart that I just can't see because my dumb ass is too stubborn. <laughs> yup, there it is. There it is. Okay, and I'm assuming I gotta attach a fan to that bitch. Which I saw one. I feel like I saw some over here, maybe somewhere. Nope. I just need to use one of the fans. Mr. Mining construct gave me. Wait, no. Put the fan on there first, then jump in. No, go further back. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. Now... Oh, I don't have anything equipped. That's not going to do anything. Whoop. Bam. That guy was a little snooty. <laughs> Your avatar been doing things on its own. <laughs> oh, taboo. You have to give clues for something, but you can't use certain words. Okay. That rings the bell. Hey, you can you can stop now. Okay. Miyadi, hope you're well. Miyadi. La vampira. How are you and bebecito? Zelda turned into Bob the Builder. <laughs> yeah, he kind of did, didn't he? <laughs> Is this the same? I feel like I talked to him already. No, I didn't. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The side of the temple... And the sound of the bell stir fond memories in me. Okay. Mushroom. These important. 
Maker Kongsa, device dispenser. Operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I've nearly met my target. You're welcome to use it. <coughs> <coughs> yep, this is a, a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct horns and Zonai charges. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It's similar to using a cooking pot. Shall I explain Zonai capsules too? Zonai capsules are portable Zonai devices in convenient pocket form. A device cannot be put back in its capsule after you, capsule after you have removed it. They are intended to be disposable. They are also plentiful. You can extract many Zonai capsules from a single device dispenser. There's no harm in converting your spare resources into Zonai capsules. It ensures you always have a few. Oh, I've lost track of time. It seems I even missed the time bell. I will suspend my activities for now. The dispenser remains available to be used. So they said these and these, right? Pretty sure. Oh snap, it's like a candy machine. A flame emitter, a Zonai device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. We know what the fan is. We got a bunch of fans. A portable pot. A Zonai device for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. It lasts for cooking one recipe only. The device is easier to use on flat surfaces. Okay. I think I'm going to do five more. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that should be good enough, right? Maybe, hopefully. Oh, little coral guy. How can I help you, friend? Aw, my friend and I got separated. Of course, there's all the way the fuck over there. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. That's okay, because we got the ability to stick you to things. And then travel. But if I go there, will I be able to get back? Wait, I don't need to get back, though. Do I? Because this is the way I need to go anyway. Yep. Yep, I need to go this way anyway. So... I need a cart. I need to stick you to a cart, not to that. I'm tripping. I'm just going to shake it until you get off. Yeah. I'm going to take you. You'll be fine, little guy. We got this. Wait, no. I learned my lesson from before. You're going to stay in front of this guy. Sorry, Mr. Coral guy. Oh, I should have put you closer to the front so I could still smack. You need to be in front. You're fine. I'm not going to swing this sword at you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just fucked him all the way up. Sorry, little guy. <laughs> if I could hug you like when I accidentally step on my cat's tail, I totally would. Thanks for bringing my, bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Korok seeds, yay. 
Okay, bye. Now what's over here? Ooh, let's go this way first. Is that a chest that I totally would have missed? Okay, let's look at comments. I'm a builder. <laughs> It's going, I'm not sure how to respond to that. Bob the Builder is in the chat, y'all. An apple. See, I remember there was a point in time when you played Zelda and you could break clay, jar jar blah, clay jars and get rupees. Like, all I'm getting are, is bullshit when I break these jars. Well, that's broken. But that also explains the hook. Let's see. Like you need to go at the back. Wait. Will you work if I put you on top? You fit to find out. Oh, oh. Well, we fit to find out. Oh, I put it facing the wrong way because I need you to be on the second one because this one breaks, right? Well, I'm holding you, so now I can't see. Oh, you're still standing. I'm still standing. <laughs> I'm still standing. Yeah. All right. Now I put you here. There's no guarantee you're going to stay, though, unless I pull you back further. Okay. Maybe. Look, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to work. Just work. Ew. Will that arrow turn it off? Let's find out. Oh, duly noted. Get out of my head. I was just thinking about that song as soon as you said it. <laughs> nice. Great minds. Great minds. We have the Zonai charm. Another chest. Please be something useful. I meant like armor, not a cooking pot. And I guess a cooking pot is still useful. Um. That's the bad guy. Hold on. I don't want to use that pin, though. I just need you to be in the right spot. Is that a bird? Oh, okay. Now where do I go? I got to traverse this whole aisle. No, I'm not. I'm fucking not. Oh, wait. Yes, I am, because that's the other temple that I need to go to. <laughs> 